As per the usual, got my cup. This is my favorite. I love this cup. I, I love it. I got it a year ago. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Audrey here, the fit, fearless, and faithful mom. And tis the season. We are getting into the Christmas gift given season when everybody's going to get something. So, that's what we're talking about. Holiday gift giving guide for homeschoolers. Okay, so I have my top 10 gifts that you can give to a homeschooler and I'm so excited to share this out. I am cozy in my little shirt here today. Um, but before I actually tell you my top 10 gifts that you can give to a homeschooler, let me go through some kind of don'ts of giving someone gifts. So here are things that you might want to consider asking about. Um, first is going to be different types of manipulatives. Before you actually start to purchase manipulatives for a homeschool family, just ask them. Because I know for myself, I ended up having way too much stuff. So just ask, like, I can't tell you how many spelling tool little kits and boxes and things like that. And people have given them to us out of the kindness of their heart and everything, but now I have so many of them. So just ask the family uh, before. I don't wanna be gross about it. I am super appreciative because they're paying attention to us homeschooling. Another thing to consider are subscriptions. And with subscriptions, I mean like manipulative type subscriptions. Subscriptions that are going to take extra time. There are certain subscriptions that are almost like full on curriculum programs. I know for myself, it would be really difficult to incorporate some of those into my homeschooling. So that's two of them and you can kind of branch out from there. So let's get into the ones that I absolutely love. Number one is the quick sticks. You might want to ask depending upon the age if, if this is going to be okay but for us we, we love I will take all the quick sticks that you've got. What they are it's paint in a stick so you don't have to worry about pouring out paint or having wasted paint and things like that because the quick sticks you just kind of like you twist them up and then they come in different sizes so you can get the fat ones skinny ones and so forth and those make great gifts we go through those like crazy because my kids are always crafting and they're always doing something with with paint and this is no mess so even your little ones can definitely, definitely handle that. Okay, number two is Around the World Stories Homeschool Subscription. And it's so neat because you get high quality stories that are delivered to your inbox. Um, each week you receive a 25 to 35 minute story to your inbox. So that's really cool because you can keep everything virtual. Books are great. I love using read aloud stories that complement what we're doing for science, history, art, um, music, and sometimes even math because math is really important and it has a background. So that's number two is going to be around the world stories. All right, number three is snack circuit kit. My kids got this. Who did it? No, uh, our oldest got it for her birthday or for Christmas. I, I don't remember, but we did get it at some point, but it's really neat because it actually teaches the kids basic electricity. They understand how when you turn on a light switch, how does it actually work? And they have to put it together, otherwise the circuit will short. So a snap circuit kit is great. You can find those Man, they get really, really pricey. You can get a small one for maybe $30 and then the bigger ones go all the way up to like $200. But those work out awesome. Number four is, is it Magformers? Yeah, it's the Magformers. We have them over there in a big box. So here's really cool. I went into Once Upon a Child because we had lost a lot of them when we had flooded a couple of years ago, and those things are not cheap. However, all of a sudden, I was in Once Upon a Child one day, and I happened to see a huge bag of magformers, 
and they were so inexpensive. It was a fraction of the cost. Look, you go into Once Upon a Child, you go into any little store like that, I don't mind getting something like that. It saves you money. I get something fun. The kids get something fun. And both of us are winners. So check out stuff like that. But the Mac Formers are really cool because they come with this big book and they have you like building things and so forth. And you have to build them correctly so it doesn't fall apart and all that. Number five. Ah, we are in love with the Zoo Tycoon and Aquarium Tycoon. This is a computer game. It is not like The Sims. Like There's like nothing raunchy. You're just building a zoo. And our oldest has been in love with it because you're an actual business owner of a zoo. You have to make sure the animals are taken care of, that your staff is happy, that your guests are happy. You have to make sure there's enough food. You can sell off your animals and it teaches little business skills along the way. So those tycoon games are really awesome. The original Sim City from the 90s, I really like. I haven't played the upgraded games. I don't like the Sims version of stuff at all. But games like that are great. And just like the Magformers, you can go into different stores and find them for, again, a fraction of the cost. So mental games like that that provide different screen time um, opportunities for your kids so they can learn how to use a computer and also learn the ins and outs of building a business super great too. All right, number six are going to be Lego kits. And you can buy these that complement the history that you're doing. <laughs> and those are really fun because then when you're doing like battle scenes, you could check out the Lego set and you can actually use your Lego set and do battle scenes with it. So we're a huge, huge Lego family. Now, a little trick with the Lego, if you're going to buy any family, Lego sets, uh, buy them some Mod Podge so that they can put them together and actually hold them together. So that is my number six. Number seven, we are a travel family. We travel a lot. Once a year, we go on a month-long road trip and then additionally throughout the year, we'll go on like one to two week trips. So Travel games are really good for our kids. We, my mom, super cool. She bought this big bingo thing. And so each kid has their board and they need to find like a plane, a train and things like that. They also have for spelling so we can do spelling in the car. There is a hangman game and everything is magnetic. So you don't have to worry about losing pieces. We have chess, checkers, and they're small too. They're maybe six inches. It's like a little six inch by six inch square. And they keep them in the back of the seats. So travel games are really nice that are magnetic. That's number seven. Number eight, uh, get a homeschool family like an Amazon gift card or get them a gift card to a learning resource center because those can absolutely go a long way for that family. With the gift cards, you can also get them gift cards for Kindle as well like you can load them up with different books i think leapfrog is part of it too so check with the homeschool mom but that's a big big benefit if you know their kids are reading number nine science experiment kits now don't overload them like see what they need but science experiment kits are really nice specifically getting a microscope and like I don't know, go half seas with someone, but I'm really thankful. My mom actually got us and our homeschool a microscope a couple of years ago, maybe a year or two ago, and it's been awesome, especially with this year doing botany. We can look at what they're doing. We can actually look at the plants and dive even deeper. And so we can use this for years to come. So out of anything, really the microscope with our science equipment is really nice to have. Now, I waited mm, number 10. This is probably my favorite. It's called the Yum Yum Box. And I I know that I had mentioned about these subscriptions in 
like the previous numbers and stuff. The Yum Yum box is so cool. It's so cool. Here's what it is. It's every single month or however long you choose, you get a box of yummy stuff from another country. And I was introduced to this from my friend and she came over and they always bring like fun stuff whenever they come over and they had this box and I said, hey, what is this? And her husband said, it's a yum yum box. And I think it was from Scandinavia. And so they give you, they give you salty and sweet treats. Now, in addition to the different food items that they send you, they also send you a map info cards, a little puzzle. There's games in there for the kids. It is really, really neat because as your kids are learning about the world and geography and things like that, you can actually put it to use with that. So that is something that we are diving into and it's totally yummy for your brain and uh, for your tummy. Yummy chummy. Okay, all right, check out everything that I had mentioned. I'm gonna post all the links below so that you can become familiar with all these really, really cool gifts. Happy shopping, leave me a comment below and let me know what your favorite homeschool gift is and let's chat about it. Tap that subscribe button, tap that notification bell. I'll see you next time for another homeschool video. Wednesdays, I pop on here to talk about faith, so join me for that too. Give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment. I'll catch you next time. Bye.